right. So we'll, we have our strength and conditioning class today. So um, yeah, we'll get back to it. I was looking for my red hat. I couldn't find it to get to my car, but um, I believe it's gonna be a red hat day. So nonetheless, um, as far as equipment, what we'll need is a yoga mat so we can do some stuff on the floor. Um, if you have your dumbbells, please have those. Those will be handy today. Resistance bands, we can use those too. A chair. And if you have any kind of heavy object, you know, heavy, but with, you know, kind of like a good grip that you could hold safely, that'd be great to, to have today. So other than that, I'm going to start with the warm up. Any questions before we start? Okay. And if you guys do need the video link, uh, just go ahead and leave your email address. Um, on the chat, I forgot to take um, a quick screenshot of those yesterday before I signed off. So I think everyone got the video yesterday. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start. Since we'll be working out the entire up, um, body today, I do want to get a nice warm up and meet a little bit earlier and a little bit colder. So we'll spend a little bit more time on the warm up. So let's go ahead and start with some nice circles. Sure you have water around. All right, let's switch directions. Clock counterclockwise. Uh, maintenance workers, so it's Tuesday. All right, let's look left to right. Let's just lift the weight of our arm, stretch out our left side. Let's switch. Let's do some arm circles. Pretty good warm up today. We work out our arms, our shoulders, our back, our core, our legs. So about everything that we didn't touch on yesterday. All right, switch. All right, windmill, so close arms, see those going. Are you guys feeling sore from yesterday at all? Not too much. All right, reverse. Tight this morning. All right, switch so arms. Right, 
universe. Reach out towards the sky, this free tree treat. And now let's spread our legs a little bit and then we're going to lean to our left, okay? Let's do about three more on each side. Last one on each side. Good. All right, you have big hip circles, big, big loops. So, white stands, let's just start clockwise. Yeah, my hamstrings are sore, so this actually feels pretty good. Big circles. Six directions. Very good. And now, 
see some golf swing toe touches. So we can just start lightly right here before we do some leg swings on the wall. So about five more on each side. All right, so let's head on over to the wall. Go ahead and the wall, do some leg swings. And so we'll do 15 on each side for each leg. So again, just front to back. Again, thanks for coming this morning. Really appreciate it. Get this work on the pan in and out. All right. Ready to switch? Good side. All right, let's face the wall. Again. All right, let's switch. Very good. Okay, we'll go with the quad stretch. So just hold right above the ankle and pull back. Working our balance a little bit as well. A couple more stretches before we start. I can switch. This is a hamstring stretch. Just like bend at the knees. We'll just kind of bring our hands down our palms, I mean, down our shins, and just reach. Stretch out those hamstrings. Just like bend at the knees. And let's reach a little more. Let's strain out those legs a little bit. And slowly, slowly, let's come back up. Okay, so if you guys could do me a favor and grab your dumbbells that you have, this is still part of the warm up. So if you have a light dumbbell, go ahead and grab that. Just, go, just kind of stretch out the chest a little bit, the elbow, the arm, the shoulder. So we're just going to have the weight just almost open it like the door cage. Just kind of 
here in the middle. And that stretch the arm, take it out a little bit, that bicep. Alright, that's exciting. Very good. So now we're going to work on some other rotations. So here I'm just kind of bringing my arm up, just rotating inward. Not letting it collapse over, just about 90 degrees. Ready to switch. Very good. And then we just have a deep spot stretch and then we can start. So, right. let's get down, separate, make sure our hips are below our knees. We're upright. Knees are being separated by our elbows. The more upright you are, the more you're feeling on your back. Okay, let's get off our heels. And our toes, so that stretch a little bit more. Inner thighs. I'm going to drop those heels and slowly, slowly just come back up. All right, very good. So, like I said, as far as the equipment for today, we need a yoga mat uh, for some core, some stuff that will be on the floor, your dumbbells. If you have a different set of dumbbells, that'd be great. Resistance bands, a chair. And a small rag, if you don't mind getting dirty, and also water and a small towel if you do the to sweat. So, all right, so let's collect this item. Here about a
All right, Terry, have a good one. All right, and then, yeah, if you guys just wanna get ready, drink some water. All right. Very good. So, as far as this workout, um, we're going to go about, um, we're going to reset. So, since I don't like wearing my watch um, when I have dumbbells, we're working on dumbbells because it um, kind of restricts the range of motion of the wrist. But, but, just tie it a little bit higher, it doesn't bother me so much. So we're gonna be doing, like I said, um, full body workout. So we'll do shoulders, arms, back, chest, um, what else? Abs, hamstrings, calves, quads. So we'll do maybe, like I said, um, we'll work our way down from starting with our upper body and working our way down. And I'll try to separate the shoulders and the arm movements um, usually they're back to back, but I'll separate them with one in between so our arms don't get too tired right away. So let's go ahead and we'll do, we'll aim for five sets of a full body, um, I guess, workout. So do you guys want to get your down row? Okay. And we're just going to start off with shoulder strides, okay? So pretty easy first set that we're gonna start off with. So just like a warm up set. So again, shoulder strikes, just bring the shoulders towards the ears and dropping them low. Okay, just bring them up, dropping them. We're gonna try to do 12 of every wrist movement. Very good. Put those weights down. Now we're going to work on. So let's get up the yoga mat. We're just going to get that ready. So let's go ahead and we're going to do Superman. It's just regular Superman. We're probably going to do variations of two Superman today. So this one I actually want to do the ones with the pump. So we're going to be going up and down, up and down, okay? So you guys got that? If that's too much, then I want you to just do the whole that we usually do. Okay? You guys ready? Three, two, one, and go. Finish this for 40 seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, 
Three, two, one, seven. All right. Okay, my good hand tight here. We're going to do the chest compressions. All right, so pretty much what we're going to be doing is just doing that squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. So we're squeezing our hands together, but almost contracting with our pectoralis major and minor, so which is our chest. Just squeeze, okay? So hands up. We're gonna do 10 of these. And we're gonna hold for about three seconds each time. Ready? Okay, go ahead, squeeze. Relax. Squeeze. Relax. Squeeze. Relax. Squeeze. Relax. Squeeze. Relax, squeeze, relax, we have four more, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, two more, squeeze, relax, and last one, squeeze for five seconds, and relax, very, very good. I'm going to switch my sweater because it's getting a little warm. Sweater. It has no sleeves. So, okay. So, for the next one, we're going to do um, arms now. So, let's grab those dumbbells. Dumbbells are resistance bands. Okay. And we're going to start off with regular um, dumbbell curls. Okay. So, my forearms are facing the camera, so they're facing you guys. And then we're just gonna, if the weights are heavy enough, then just do one arm at a time. But if they're kind of light, then you can do both arms at the same time. Okay, let's go for 10 to 12, please. Ready? Again, so up, control all the way down. Okay, very good. Let's get the upper body. Let's go ahead and get it on the floor. We're going to do some core now. Okay. So we'll do kind of one of like the easier core ones. So this is going to be a uh, tabletop, so pretty much knees right above our hips. What we're going to do is just drop one a few at a time, and just bring it back. Okay, so we're going to do this for a minute since it's not so demanding. Ready? Okay, there you go. So just drop that heel down while keeping that other leg elevated. Halfway there. Make sure you're alternating. Ten more seconds. This pause might be burning a little bit. Make sure your lower legs are elevated too, they're not folded. Five, four, Three, two, one, time. 
pause. We're burning. All right, here we go. Now we're going to make our way down to our legs. One of the, I guess you, you could say they're a little bit easier, but we're going to do the round of clock um, sissy squat, which is going to be, again, bringing the leg out to every hour on the dial. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do three on each leg, okay? So again, it's pretty, if you guys do need a chair nearby, go ahead and grab one. So again, we're going to be, we're in the center of the clock. We're going to go 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and so forth. Okay? You guys ready? Three on each leg. We're going to do the right leg first. Ready? Begin. So. Slight squat at five, six, and then you come behind seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's one rotation. We're doing three of these per leg. I'll score in your balance too. Take your time too. So this is about we're doing we're doing three times called thirty six little sissy squats per leg right now. So you should feel that leg that was keeping you elevated. Okay. Right. Once we're there, recover. All right, so let's switch ahead, and then now we're on our right leg and going with our left leg. Yeah, reverse or counterclockwise. Tired there. Calf, quad, entire lower body. Okay, so let's take about thirty seconds rest. Get some water. Okay. It's ready, so we have our weights.
Now we're gonna advance a little bit more. So we're gonna do side um, shoulder raises, okay? So for this one, if you have your dumbbells or one weight at a time, let's go ahead. Turn your left. No, it's left behind. All right, so we're just gonna go off here to the side and control it back down. Again, if the weights are pretty light, then just make sure you're slowly on the way back down. And if they're a little bit heavier, then just get them up there. And remember, we're only coming shoulder, shoulder height. Okay, so I don't want you guys to come up to the ceiling. Okay, you guys ready? So 12 on each arm. Ready, begin. One, two, Eight, nine, seven, eleven, and twelve. If you guys need time, go ahead and finish your twelve. No rush. You can do one arm at a time. Don't worry. Let's get a little bit more rest. I'll stretch out. All right, so now we did our shoulders right now, and now we're gonna do our, let's actually do our chest, okay? So we're gonna do floor presses, so we'll be on the floor, almost like a bench press, but with our dumbbells. So, Again, for a floor press, we're right here in this position. We're just going to press up and then pull it back down, okay? So we're going to do 10 to 12 of these. Again, if the weight is really light, then just control it and squeeze up here at the top position for about three seconds before you come back down. Okay? Ready? Okay, here you go. Again, this is called your second hold. Last one. Good. All right, so now we're going to do a variation of our dumbbells curls. So now we're going to do actually let's do tricep um, dips. Okay, so grab your chair. I don't want to completely fatigue out the biceps, so we'll give them a little bit of rest and we'll do some dips. So you guys remember the, <laughs> there's two variations of it. There's this one where it's a little bit easier with the legs close to the body, or there's some more challenging with the legs away from the body, okay? You guys ready? Bring this camera down. Sorry for the leaf blower. All right, so 10 to 15 of these, okay? Ready, begin. Okay. 
Actually, um, sorry, you will need our chairs again. I'm sorry, I forgot. So for this next one, we're gonna do, so again, this is a fly, I'm gonna get this here. Imagine a bird flying, so this is a fly. We're starting from here and going out, this would be a reverse fly if we start in this position. So we're gonna do a seated bent over reverse fly. Okay, that's gonna be for our back. So pretty much we're getting starting in this position and going out. Okay. So again, seated, bent over, reverse fly. So kind of like this. Okay, so we're gonna do again 10 to 12 of those. So usually I, I like to have my weight underneath my hamstrings, right behind my heels. And again, if the weight is really light, then I control it a little bit more. You guys ready? Okay, go. 10 to 15. Okay, all right, we got some core. Right. We'll right here for our core. Okay, so we're gonna do, for this time, we are gonna do, essentially, we're gonna do some VFs. Okay, so our toe touches elevated, toe touches the legs up, and we're gonna go and try to reach, okay? You guys ready? We're gonna go for 40 seconds. If your legs get tired, then you can bring them at this height and just reach. Okay? Ready? Three, two, one, legs up, and begin. Seven more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, very good. It's a pretty advanced core one. It's a uh, all right, get yourself in space. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do some air spots. Okay, so air spots, you guys remember, come down and go. You know. Okay, so. Glutes, hamstrings, quads, and calves on this one. Okay. You guys ready? Three. We're gonna go 40 seconds. Okay, so make sure you guys get really low when you jump up. Ready? Three, two, one, okay, go.
Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Woo! That's good. All right, minute rest. Take your rest. Collect yourself. Put some water. Catch our breath right now. A little bit. We're gonna start off with some easier leg ones. So we'll start with opposite heel to opposite glute. So let's go ahead. Can do 30 seconds of these. Make sure you bring those heels up. Rest up a little bit. All right, very good. Okay, let's grab those dumbbells. It's a big dumbbell day today. So I'm going to grab my 15. Okay. Right. Uh, Better work. I'm gonna grab what's going to be. Okay, so now we're gonna do front raises. So again, front raises for right up front right here. Okay, same thing, shoulder height. You guys ready? Three, two, one, okay, go. The weight is heavy, do one arm at a time. If it's light, then same time, but just control it. And remember, we're doing shoulder height. So shoulders, once you're done, back on the floor. Okay. Now we're gonna do chest flies, okay? So for chest flies, let's see if I can get over here. We're pretty much going to be going this way. So the last thing that we did was this one here, was a press. So again, now we're gonna do a fly, so come this way. Okay? You guys ready? Three, two, one, begin. So again, 10 to 15 of these. And you wanna bring it down slowly.
probe it. Last one. All right, now you have arms. Okay. You go ahead and gain those dumbbells. So we're going to do hammer curls. You guys remember, you're doing like a hammer, so my forearms are facing my midline. So yeah, we're just gonna do hammer curls and do 12 to 15 of these. These seem to be a little bit easier if you have the same weight, just because you're actually getting more muscles. So you guys ready? Ready, two, one, again. So 12 to 15. Alright. Let's chair. We're gonna do some bent over rows. Chair. Put your back right now. Okay, so bent over rows, we're gonna be you know, bent over on the chair or on a bench. And we're just gonna bring that elbow straight back. Okay. Alternating. So I want you to do 12 or 15 of these. Make sure you control it on the way down, control it on the way up. Good. Six sides. Ten to twelve on each side. Very good. I'm going to set. Okay. Now we're going to do some Russian twists. So if you guys want to grab that dumbbell, you could. If you don't, you don't have to. So again, Russian twist. You're going to be here, recline back, turn your left to the right. Okay. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, then I want you to raise your legs. Do the same thing. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one, begin 40 seconds. Any more seconds? Five, four, three, two, one, turn. 
So again, we're gonna get up on our feet, squat shuffle, and just off to the side. So if you have space for three shuffles, that'd be great. So again, so one, two, three, we come back. Okay, we're just staying low the entire time. Okay, you guys ready? 45 seconds of those. Ready? Right, so let's squat down. Three, two, one, begin. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Are you good? Awesome. Are you ready to do some calf raises? Calf raises. We're gonna do single leg calf raises. Okay. First one is gonna be here. My right leg is gonna be elevated. I'm just gonna control it. Bring that heel up and back down. Okay, so try to hold it up in that up position for about a second before you bring it back down. Okay, so we're gonna do 35 seconds on each side. You guys ready? Three, two, one, begin. So again, I'm just using the chair for balance. I'm not really trying to use it too much to push off. Three, two, one, time. All right, you should feel that burn on that calf. And the switch sides. You guys ready? Three, two, one, begin. Again, if you guys do need the, the building, just go ahead and leave that on the chat. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, that's set number three. It's a moderate stuff. And so one minute rest.
All right, so we have set number four coming up. All right, so for this one, for our shoulder, if you're going to be doing shoulder press. So, so let's go ahead and grab those legs. So yeah, we're going to bring those off to our shoulders and just press up, just come back down, okay? Just press, do the shoulder press. So again, depending on your weight, if it's really light, then go for 15. If it's on the heavier side, maybe 8 to 10 of them. Okay, you ready? 1, 2, 3, begin. So get those up there. For shoulders, and then we have for the back. Okay, so now for our back, we're gonna do a similar movement, but it's gonna be more for our back. So we're gonna go up to a wall and do the presses along. So keeping our arms and shoulders right along, and just bring those. Down. So similar movement to what we just said, but this is working out our upper back a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna do that for, let's do that. Let's do it for repetition. So let's do again, 10 to 15 of those. So once you guys are ready, let me just check the chat. All right. Now, yeah, if you need the email or the link, just let me know on the chat. So you can send me your email address. Let's do 15 of these, ready? Elbows and wrists against the wall. Begin. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, up and on the elbows, pretty good. Let me just check the chat. All right, great. All right, so it's working our way down. All right, so we did arms. Can you do arms ready? The shoulder press. Get back. So we did this <laughs> cross biceps. So let's grab those dumbbells again. A lot of dumbbell work today. Cross biceps. And again, we're just going to alternate. So chest. So wrist to opposite chest. Okay. You guys ready? Three, two, one, begin. So one, two, so ten on each side. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Tired arms, let's just do some air squats. So I'm gonna do push-ups um eventually. 
but to rest our arms, we'll do some air squats or some just regular, um, yeah, air squats. So no weights, just positioning. So just here, coming back down. Okay, so we're gonna do 20 of these. Ready? So make sure you bring your hips to the same height as your knees. Okay, it's ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, last one, and twenty. Very good. Good game, bro. Very good. All right, now push ups. So now I'm missing on regular push ups. So we're going to do 10 to 15 of these, okay? You guys ready? Just in that position. You ready? All right, push up position. You can use your knees if you need to. Three, two, one, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If you feel good, go for 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. Good stuff. All right. Awesome job. All right, so let's get up. We have before we get down on the floor, we'll finish up with some arms. I mean, with some legs right now. So, okay, so we'll do some high knee progression. So again, we've done this one several times. We'll just get some cardio work right now, some activation of the calf. So let's go. So striking those knees. We're gonna do 20, 20, 10. So it's this. And then 10 of the running. All right, now let's go for the skip. Running motion for 10 seconds. Okay, there you go. Yeah, and it's time. Very good. All right, very good. Here we go. All right, we have one core one. Okay, so we're going to do. What are we having again? Okay, so let's do some static. Forward, so let's do some planks. Okay. We could do side planks, kind of work on that oblique a little bit. So love handles. It is ready. So just feet and elbow making contact. Okay, up. So 40 seconds on each side.
five more seconds. Three, two, and let's switch. Six sides. Make ready. And up. One more second. Three, two, one, drop. All right. Woo. How are you guys feeling? Ella, you good? A little tired? Debbie, Great. how are you feeling? Great. Debbie, looking a little tired? Okay. All right, very good. You guys good? Are you guys gonna do a little bit more? No? Okay. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. I'm good. All right, good. Okay, because I was gonna say if we do more, it's gonna be burpees. So, okay. <laughs> you guys give me the same reaction. Awesome. All right, so Josefina, Lydia, Susan, Alex, Melinda, are you guys good? Maria, Nancy, Alma? He has passed out. I see. <laughs> I see the light. Let's, let's go ahead and start with him. 10 20 already. Usually we're done by this time mark sometimes. All right, almost good. Josefina, are you there? Have all my dumbbells here. Good workout. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the cool down. So I'm just going to take my shoes off. I like cooling down a little bit more relaxed. Let's go ahead. Are we Just, done? You okay? Are we done? Yeah, we're going to cool down now. Oh, I thought you were going to <laughs> All right, so let's go in. All right, like back. But did, were, are you guys tired? Full body or your arms, back, shoulder? Is it everything? Everything. Everything. Okay, that's what I want to hear. Yep, and I have a workout with these kids at 11. So, can't wait. <laughs> yeah. But I just tell them what to do and then they just follow. So, all right, we'll switch. So you are tired too? Also, yeah, I'm tired too. <laughs> I ate only me. Are you tired? Yes and not. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm more sore from yesterday. Um, I think my, my hamstrings, I felt it today. So I think all the bridges we did yesterday. All right, let's switch to the Hollywood stretch. So, but yeah, I didn't run this morning, so I think it's not been, it's just, it's been so cold that usually I run at 6 a.m. and I checked the weather this morning and it was 41 degrees and I was like, yeah, my bed feels a little bit better <laughs> going outside, so I'll probably try to run later. Um, but let's see. Let's switch. Let's go to figure four. So, 
want you guys to get on that figure four and then bring that hind arm over. So you can work out the full body. So stretch out that back and the lats. Switch. Bring that arm over here. So remember, tomorrow at noon we have flexibility and mobility. So if you're feeling sore, tired, even if you're not, tomorrow's a good day just to loosen up the body. Bring both heels in. Let's try to bring those knees close to the floor as possible. Brilliant. The doc my doctor says the way that you do the exercises during the week is perfect, the way they're supposed to be. Okay, good. The Monday and today, cut and rest and yeah. red hat. That's the way they're supposed to be, he says. And this Chris Costum? See, I know a little something. Yeah. No, I talk to you. <laughs> All right, Rosalina, you could call me Dr. Julio, okay? Okay, doctor. <laughs> and let's lean forward, make sure we're doing that stretch on that outside side. Let's relax. Same position, so raise that, left foot in, right leg back, and just lean back. Let's switch. Stretching that quad. Okay. And then last one, not least, performance stretch for the hamstring. Feel over that. Make sure your hips are elevated. Bring that chest towards your knee. All right, and relax. All right, very good. Well, thank you again for joining uh, the class. Really appreciate it. Um, and then, yeah, do you guys 
have any questions, more than happy to stick around. But um, otherwise, let me stop the recording.